Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mike from MoboxGraphics.com and in this video tutorial, I'm just gonna be showing you a really simple way to take your app mockup or UX design and apply it to a flat image of a phone. So the phone won't be perfectly square, so all you have to do is scale it and position it. It's not that simple, um, but the phone won't be flying through the air and 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 you there will be no tracking involved. This is very simple. This is a very beautiful way to get a very simple effect. So first things first, you're going to need a phone mockup. So I am he in here in After Effects, but what I want to do is I just want to um, I want to come to this mockup and if you just search into Google simple mockup iPhone, um, you come up with a lot of different options, but the one I like a lot is actually UI8 simple mockup iPhones. And then the second one here is products and this is the one that I like a lot. So just search um, UI8 products, simple mockups, and you will find this. They are in Photoshop form and they are free to download. So there's a lot of really cool flat, um, flat phones to use. So you could just go ahead and hit download. You put in your email and it downloads. I'm not paid by these people or anything. I just think that these are really awesome and they're free, so I'm using them. So once you go ahead and download it, you should get a folder. You unzip it, whatever you need to do, and you will see a Photoshop file, simple mockups.psd. And I'm just gonna drag that right into After Effects. By the way, here, composition is fine and editable layers. Uh, that's what you want. Um, I've done this once before. That's why you will see duplicates here. I'm just gonna go ahead and open this simple mockups too. I'm actually gonna delete the other one. So in here, there's all of the different options. You can go through and see which one you like the best. I happen to like this one the best, so I'm just gonna delete the other layers so they're not in the way or using up CPU space. So I'm just gonna lock this layer so I don't actually grab it. And um, I'm just gonna make sure the composition settings are what I want them to be. So composition, composition settings. So this is actually 4K at 60 frames a second, um, which is probably okay. I'm just gonna make it 1440p. Um, make sure I hit lock aspect ratio. And then I'm just gonna scale this down, pressing S on the keyboard to about there, and then relocking it. Okay, so um, now we can go ahead and start applying our phone screen to this mockup phone. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just create the shape layer in the shape of the screen, layer new, solid, and I am just going to make this 1080 by 1920. That's the aspect ratio of most cell phones, not the Galaxy S8 or the LG G6, but like iPhones and most Android phones. So I'm just gonna make the color kind of a green color, that's fine, so it stands out. So once you're here, one thing that I was trying to do was I was making this a 3D layer, hitting R on the keyboard and trying to rotate this into place. And let me tell you what an absolute nightmare that is. So what I'm gonna do instead is I am going to um, take this layer and I am going to go to effect, uh, distort, corner pins. So with this, you're able to simply and easily move the corner pins and basically it's it's transforming this shape. So I come from Photoshop where it's just so easy to transform and there really didn't seem like there was a really good way to transform shapes in After Effects, but this does the job perfectly fine. One thing you're gonna notice is that if you actually click away of the shape, um, you lose the pins. Um, you will have to use uh, these up here in which you'll have to use these little markers and then you can start using them again. So just a heads up, I know that that confused me a couple times. So I'm just gonna move these into the corners of the phone. So at 4K, this would have been a little bit crisper, but no need to operate at such high resolutions for this. So all of the corners look to be in place. And actually what I could do now is click on this tur turquoise layer, hit Control Shift C, and rename this to Screen. Leave all attributes and simple mockup too. And now when I open this screen by double clicking it, you see I am back into my um, horizontally shaped screen. So what I actually did was I took my Mobox site 
and I created a composition with basically just like a bunch of screenshots match mashed together um, to give me kind of my whole site in one image. Um, I also actually added these videos here. So I'll actually just open up my site and show you. I added these videos here, so these will animate. Now I come to my comp or my mockup. You'll see very simply, I'm gonna reduce the resolution. You can see my mock app is perfectly fitted onto the phone. Anyways guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to give the video a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments down below if you have a suggestion for a future video. Anyways guys, it's been Mike from MoBoxGraphics.com. Thanks for watching.